If you're recording videos like this and you're not 100% happy with your audio, I can show you how to fix it. Now, the chances are, if you're not happy with your audio, you're thinking, you're thinking that maybe you need to go and buy a more expensive mic, but you don't. You see, when it comes to video, the biggest retention killer is poor audio. So I'm going to show you a, a cheap mic like this can sound almost as good as a mic costing over a thousand dollars. But first, I'm Andrew Sweeney, and I'm all about making it easy for course and content creators to, well, to make better content. Do you know something? Nine out of ten times, the quality of your audio in situations like this, when you're talking direct to camera, this isn't down to your mic at all. The issue is how you're connecting your mic to your camera. You see, the problem is preamps. So, what's a preamp? Well, that's the gubbins inside the camera that processes the audio. And let me tell you, a lot of these preamps, they, they add is and they just do a really poor job when it comes to capturing quality audio. So it isn't your mic, it's your camera, or at least how you've got your mic and your camera set up. So let me show you how to fix it and get your audio sounding like, well, well, like what you're hearing now. I'm going to show you how I set things up for recording videos like this. Typically, you've got your mic and it could be a it could be a lav mic like this or a wireless mic. Basically, any mic with a 3.5 pin, that's eighth of an inch in old money. Or maybe you've got a mic with one of these XLR plugs and you're connecting it to your camera with an adapter or interface. If you are, I'm going to show you how to improve the audio with all these mics. Now, if you're using a mic with a USB plug, something like like this Yeti here. I did a video that shows you how to directly connect that to the camera and I'll, I'll put a link up here and also in the description. Anyway, let's start with connecting a mic with a pin like this to your camera and getting your clean professional sounding audio. And as I said, it's the preamps in the cameras. That's the problem. So we don't want your camera doing the audio processing. What you need is a unit like this. And this is the Zoom H6. And I know it might look complicated, but it's not. And what we're doing is really easy. And with this unit, you can do so much more than what I'm going to show you. Apart from connecting a mic to your camera and bypassing the poor quality preamps, you can buy mics that clip on the top and then use it as an actual mic. And there's all different kind of mics that you can buy for that unit. You can connect it directly to computer and plug a mic in so you can do Zoom calls, YouTube videos, webinars, all that kind of stuff. It's got a slot where you can put an SD card and then record audio directly to the unit. It's even got an adapter under here so you can attach it directly to your camera. Now an H6, it's going to set you back about $350. And you might think, well, that's expensive. But when you see how versatile this unit is and the quality audio it produces, you'll see that it's actually well worth it. And to prove what a good job this does, what I've done, I've got this cheap lav mic here. I got it off eBay, paid $30 for it. And if you watch to the end of this video, we'll compare that $30 mic running through the H6 to the $1,000 Seinhauser mic that I'm currently using. Anyway, let's get connecting the mic to the H6 and then connecting the H6 to the camera. And for the purpose of this video, I'm using a Panasonic GH5 but it works with pretty much any camera. Okay, so first what we have to do is connect our mic. Now there's a couple of ways to do this, but to keep it simple, we'll use a method that doesn't require you to buy an extra adapter. So we'll start with connecting the mic to the H6. On the top here, there's this built-in mic. Now, if we turn it so we can see the side here, can you see that? We've got a 3.5 input. This is where we're gonna plug in our mic. So I'll just push this in there like that. Now with the mic plugged in and just look at the levels here. With the mic plugged in, if I tap the mic, you can see we're not getting any signal. And that's because there's a couple of things we have to do first. I've got to tell the H6 which mic input I want to use. So I'll select the L and R buttons. And because we've got something plugged in, the unit is going to use what's plugged into the side instead of the built up mic on the top but the mic still isn't going to work because we've got to give it some power. So let's jump back to the H6 and finish setting it up. I'll just hit the menu button here on the side to open up the options. And we want to scroll to plug in power and then I'll, I'll select it. I'll now hit the menu button 
on the side to escape back to the main screen. Now, if I plug the mic in and tap the mic, you can see we've got a signal. Now we've got the mic powered up, we can adjust the level of our audio from this dial here, and we'll come back to this shortly. But first, what we've got to do is connect the H6 directly to our camera. Now I've got a simple 3.5 milli lead here, and I'll put a link to all the stuff I'm using below this video. So anyway, here on the bottom of the H6, we've got a 3.5 milli output. Now I don't want to get too technical here, so let me put this into simple terms. This is a line out output. And what that means, it means that the audio signal from this is going to be far louder than what it would be from a mic output. In other words, it's going to be too loud. Now you can buy us a special cable to fix this. It's called an attenuation cable, but we don't need that because there's now a setting that we can use to turn it down. And I always do this before connecting my mic to the camera. I'll plug one end of the cable into the line out and you can now see it says line out. On the other end, we're going to plug this into the camera, but not yet. We've first got to turn the line out level down. So back to the settings and I'll hit the menu button on the side and scroll down and we want line level. There we go. I'll select that. Now there are a few options here, minus 30, minus 25, all the way down to zero. I found that minus 30 works well, so we'll stick to that. That's the H6 sorted. Now, let's set up the camera. Now, like I said, I'm using a Panasonic GH5, but it really doesn't matter if you're using a Sony or a Canon, you'll have access to all these settings. They're standard. Now, I want to turn the audio levels down in the camera because I don't want the camera doing the processing. I want the H6 to do that because it does a much better job. So I'll open the menu and I want to alter the mic levels. I'll just find it. There we are. I want to lower the level down to the lowest I can go, which is minus 12. So I'll set it at minus 11, just so it's letting in some signal. Then I'll just exit out of that, back to the main screen. So we've got the mic plugged into the H6 and we've connected the H6 to the camera and we've dialed in all the settings. All we've got to do now is set the volume for the audio. So what I'm going to do using this knob here on the H6, I'm going to adjust it while I'm looking at the meters on the back of the camera. So I'm going to open up the camera's mic settings again. Now I'm not going to change anything. I just want to be able to see the levels clearly. And as I'm talking into the mic, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, I can see the audio levels that's being sent to the camera. So as I'm talking, I'm going to turn the output volume on the H6 up. And as I'm increasing it, you can see the levels on the camera here increasing. Now, I don't want to go too high, about three quarters of the way, that'll do. Now, if for some reason you're turning the volume right up on the H6 and you're still not getting enough audio, just jump back into the line out settings and then try, say, minus 20 or minus 15 or minus 10. Anyway, so we've now got our mic all set up. It's time for the money shot. The question, the big question is, can my $30 mic compete with my $1,000 Sennheiser 416? Well, let me read a short passage with each mic and you can hear for yourself. First, we'll do the Sennheiser 416. Here we go. Audiences will forgive video that's not framed correctly. They will overlook lighting that's not perfect, but they won't stay around for long if your audio is poor. And now for the cheap mic running through the H6 direct to camera. Here we go. Audiences will forgive video that's not framed correctly. They will overlook lighting that's not perfect, but they won't stay around for long if your audio is poor. Could you hear a difference? Let me know in the comments, but I'm sure you agree. The audio from that cheap little mic was pretty good. And that's because it was set up correctly. So there you go. That's how to set up a cheap mic and make it sound like you're using a really expensive setup. I hope this has helped you. Until next time, bye for now.